So, this one is the more personal video. If you click this one, I should have posted one before this one that had to deal more about what happened with the video game content on my channel. Um, not posting as much and posting really lazy edits and stuff. Um, but this one's more of a personal vlog. You're welcome to, of course, watch. Um, but this one isn't really going to be so much video game oriented and what happened with that. It's going to be more about my personal life and just kind of catching my friends up and stuff. And this one's geared more towards that apology video and like where I've been and why I've been so like MIA with everything and out of it. But um, anyways, so I'll just kind of catch up because uh, we can kind of keep this brief. But in my last video about the video game part, I was also talking about how I wasn't really being myself and everything. Right now, short term, my plan is to uh, just start by making amends with everyone. Um, sending out apologies to those people that were always there at my side and helping me, and yet I never really listened to them. Um, you know, some of my closest friends uh, were always there and did care for the most part, and I took it very, I took it for granted. I annoyed a lot of them. I annoyed my mom for a while. It was, you know, not something I'm proud of, but something that I'm trying to learn to move on with. Uh, I recently went through a separation with one of my closest friends, and uh, that kind of hurt because um, there was a lot there. It's something, a moment that I will always cherish. Um, they didn't die or anything, but um, it was just more of a separation because it got a little bit toxic. Um, you know, I was letting someone dictate and tell me how to live my life and tell me that I was either acting too gay or not straight enough or constantly I was always wishing for approval from someone that just felt like they didn't need to give it to me. Um, I'm sure we've all had that person that we've basically devoted ourselves to or it's that just wasn't reciprocating it and it just becomes bad from there and the friendship wasn't salvageable at that point. But for me personally, I am happy to uh, start living for me a little bit. And if that person can't ever really come around to just learn to love and accept the person that I am, you know that it, that's just how life is. And it's like my mom's always told me, it's not about making someone like, it's not about shaping yourself to fit someone else, you know? It's about finding someone that accepts you for you. Um, think talking about that, um, you know, it was it was fun, and it was somebody that I do love and do love, still love and respect. There's of course still a lot of uh, a lot of saltiness that comes with it, just because it's happened so recently. But I also wanted to do this video fresh, you know. Um, I waited a few days because I didn't want to just uh, be in a state of grief or anger or resentment. You know, I wanted to be very. Like, this is what's going on, and uh, it's hard, you know? Um, this video is more also for my friends, just to know that if you've ever been in this type of situation, like, I know what you're going through, um, and it's it's hard, uh, I know. And your anxiety rises, and you think about a lot of stuff. But uh, anyways, to sum it up, this it's like I guess this one's kind of more of a story time. Um, started about a year ago, uh, this friend that I did have a really big crush on in high school, someone that I also did come out for, you know, because it was somebody that helped me come to terms with who I am. Um, this person I was very close with, and they meant a lot to me, and uh, we just were headed in very different directions school-wise. I decided to stay in the magnet program at my school. I didn't go to the pilot school that was geared more towards like theater arts and everything with him. Um, and so we hadn't really seen each other for a long time. Uh, saw him in college and we caught up there, but didn't really kick it off. And then um, after my parents' divorce and everything, um, I wasn't really going out much. I wasn't really talking to people. I was really out of it. A lot of my friends were constantly messaging me and I was just ignoring it because I just didn't know how to deal with it at the time. Everything that was going on, talking to friends again, it was really hard for me. I needed to find myself again, kind of. Um, and so when he came back into my life, it was almost just perfect timing because it was kind of like, you know, like it happened for a reason. Like I needed that friend back. And uh, from there on, we had a really great time. And uh, I, my issue was that I let feelings resurface for a friend that has told me before that um, it wasn't reciprocated, the feeling. Um, uh, it wasn't about sexual orientation or anything, it was just an issue, uh, you know, it was just there, you know, it was honesty. 
um, but then um, I had a really good year, you know, it was fun and I don't regret anything. The only thing I could regret was not staying myself and staying strong. Um, I let my, like I said, I let my father do that a little too long and then again I let it happen again with my friend. Um, they weren't ever doing it to hurt me or put me down. It was more of a protection thing, but even then, you know, we were trying to be very progressive, very forward, saying that it's time to start accepting everyone, whatever, that, you know. Um, but I let myself get hurt. I did. And uh, it wasn't anyone's fault. It was just the situation and how it went down. Um, but um, for right now, it's kind of off. Uh, kind of was a mutual thing. However, when faced with reality, I always constantly try to beg for forgiveness and ask for them to come back. But I think I need to start being a little stronger for myself and um, also just tell everyone that is there and still there talking to me and being there for me. Thank you, you know, for sticking through it. And like I look back and I've been a real ass to a lot of you. Um, I have, and not in a direct way, but just ignoring the advice, ignoring the signs that I wasn't being myself, and I wasn't, I wasn't really happy where I was, um, you know, it's still hard because it's very much assumed that it should be easy, but it's not, um, because there still was a lot of good good times and uh, this person was a really good friend to me and they really did pull me out of a really deep a deep hole and uh, you know it, the reason why I say it feels like a breakup was because it was just that close and it felt too real uh, never really had much people put a lot of effort into being there for me before that uh that it was hard to say goodbye is that it just wasn't working you know and moving on from here my idea is just that I have to I have to and as much as I wanted it to not be that way I gotta just accept it that we're not gonna be seeing each other we're not gonna be talking anymore and just cherish my memories now because it's uh, too much to deal with and too much to think about, you know, it's just too much to dwell on and it's time to just keep moving forward for me personally. Um, but um, I do miss him. I will miss him. And I do love him. He was a really good friend and somebody that also put themselves aside for me at times too, to care and really love and support me too. Uh, but yeah, that happened, so that was really a big issue. But now my part is now I'm here, and I'm just apologizing to all my friends that were really there and really sticking it out for me and carrying that. It was a learning experience, and I'm still learning, and I'm hoping to grow from it. And uh, yeah, I think I'm probably going to have to do another one because I feel like there's still so much to say. But really, you know, this is just it. I went through pain. I went through it, I went through suffering, and I feel it. And this also goes to the part where, like, after my parents' divorce, after hitting rejection, after dealing with school and everything, suicide was never something that I could see myself thinking about or doing, and yet I still had moments where I thought, like, I didn't feel like I had a reason to be around. I was never talented in school, I, you know, I didn't really have a lot of friends, um, I've always been bullied as a kid, um, you know, I've, I've been hit and stuff before in school and I would always pass it off like I fell. There was a, one time I came from school and I had a cut eyebrow and I told them that I was playing football. The fact that my mom believed me and was just like, oh, okay, like, <laughs> really, like, my ass playing football, but, uh, no, you know, kids, some kids actually shoved me and my face hit the pavement but anyways that was just like you know I've had my I've had my fair share of shit happen as a kid 
and uh, I just learned to come to terms with it. So with this, also losing my friend wasn't something easy. It was something that hit hard. And, uh, you know, I'm in this weird state of, I can do this, I can be okay, it's better this way, but even then sometimes I still wonder, like, I think we all kind of wonder, like, when we break up or break it off with a friend, like, do they even care, do they even miss you? But that's not really something to think about. Something to think about is just that they're happy and they're okay. And if life has its moment for you guys to reconnect or come together or even find love or anything, it will happen. And if not, what you're doing now is just building up to that of feeling better. But um, anyways, to cut this video, um, I guess I could just say sorry to all my friends, but also thank you for the love and support. Uh, it's been a little hard, but I'll be fine. Um, I've dealt with it enough, you know. Um, I've managed to kind of joke about it and just be like, you know, it's just life, it's whatever. And I've had a lot of friends give me love and support too. Uh, but yeah, you know, it's going to be fine. And for those of you that are dealing with this or maybe dealing with it or have a friend that you feel like you're doing this too if I could see it from both sides I'd advise um if you have a friend that's really into you and you don't know how to put it down or tell them I feel like just being honest but also like really considering what they have to say I feel like a big issue with my friend was that they were very straightforward and they never really considered the other person's feelings as much. It was more just like, hey, sorry, that's how it is, you gotta deal with it. And that's not also a right way to do it because it makes the person, it makes the other person feel like they're not, they're not good enough or they're not trying hard enough or you're just, it makes the other person feel like, oh, maybe this person's just scared and they don't trust me. But being honest and really putting out your, your feelings there, that helps. And for the person, for the people out there that, you kind of feel like it's a waste of time when your friends not really reciprocating the feelings you feel. I've been there. Um, I still kind of am there. I am trying to get out of that mindset and start living more for myself. So there's, you're not alone. You know, none of us are alone on that part. But yeah, so that's it. I'll probably do another video soon. So 